It's been eight months since I started my age domain case study, and in that time, it's got a fair bit of interest. Now, when I started the, the site back in March, I thought it would be a long, hard slog to get to one or two K per month. But I thought it would be a good case study to help you guys follow along and learn and see what's possible. But little did I know that it would turn into the earning machine that it has. Today I'm going to share with you what I've been doing over the last two months with the site to help propel it forwards, as well as the rankings and the earnings too. I'll also be sharing with you my plans on how I want to make a, a six figure exit with this site in 2023. And yes, let's just remind ourselves, let's say it again, I started this site in March 2022. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do is just go through the traffic stats. And we'd already seen exponential growth in the months of July and August and then in September. So today we're looking at October and November traffic. So we can see here that in September we'd had organic traffic of 9,536. If we move that on into October, we see that the traffic increased significantly again up to 14,311. And we can kind of see where that kind of happened. And it, it happened gradually over the month. And we, then we saw some explosive growth towards the end. And then if we go into November, we see that the traffic just went to a completely other level. We, at 27,165 organic hits. Now, again, we kind of see that that explosion that explosiveness at the beginning of the month, then we dropped a little bit, but then it came back. And you might look at that and say that's a little bit of a negative trend, and it, and it probably certainly is. But regardless, this was the strongest traffic month that we have seen. Now, why have we seen that drop? That's a good question, because actually, if we look at the rankings, we don't really see any drops at all. And, it, and in fact, the majority of keywords have actually moved up month on month. So if we look at this keyword here, which is an info keyword, it's moved from position eight to position four. We look at this one here, which is a new review keyword. It's gone from, you know, out of the top 100 into position six. And, and actually, if we look at the majority of keywords other than a few that we've just uh, published here. This one keeps dropping in and out, but I'm not too concerned about that. But other than these few keywords here, everything is on page one. Everything that we're targeting, everything that we're tracking. And we can see we've got some huge keywords, which are branded keywords. This is a, this is a brand that we rank for and, and it converts really, really well. We also rank for the, the review keyword, but we're in position three for that. So there's certainly nothing negative in terms of the rankings. And the, the traffic is looking really, really strong. Let's not forget, August had doubled on the month prior to that, and that was at 5,628. So the big question is, where are we at in terms of earnings? You might have seen it on the screen, actually, there. And I'm, uh, forgive me, I'm going to have to keep turning around to look at this. But the earnings have gone absolutely insane. And you might expect that with the traffic increases, but still... Let's remind ourselves, this is a, an eight stroke, nine month old site that has only had a maximum of around £10,000, maybe $13,000 spent on it. And these are the earnings. So this is the earnings for October. October, we had total earnings of $5,643. Now, actually, it was a little bit higher than that because there's a couple of programs that I've not included in, in those earnings because it was a little bit tricky for me to get the data. So it's probably closer to $6,000. Now, in November, it more than doubled, which is insane to say, um, at $11,990. Now, again, I've not included one program in that data and I know it was at least about $500 worth of, of sales. So let's just say $12,000. That is an insane number for a website that is just months old. Okay, so I've had to come back in and record this because I realized that I hadn't actually given you a whole lot of information on what I'd actually done to improve the website or, or see the growth that we'd seen. After all, this isn't just an income report, this is a case study. So 
Let's talk a little bit about the changes that I've made or the work that has been done. And the, the, probably the, the biggest thing really has been the content focus. Now I've not necessarily ramped up the content, but I have found new keyword opportunities that I didn't think would have existed. Now that's been a bit of a mixture of info content. There's certainly been a push on info content this month but there's also been some new commercial opportunities that have arisen. Now, some of these are because I just didn't know they existed in the past, and some of them have cropped up because new products have come to market. So there's been some new review terms that I could, uh, I could apply, and new affiliate programs that I could apply to. So, and one of those affiliate programs, they actually approached me or approached the website and uh, initially they were offering 30% commission. We we did a about half a month on that, maybe a month. That was that was in October. And then towards the end of October, I suggested that, you know, look, I've got competitors that I could promote instead and they're, they're paying me 50, 60% commission. So we've now agreed on a 50% commission. So of course that has also helped. Um, and then aside from that, there's been a little bit of link building, but, but not a huge amount. And in comparison to projects that are built on fresh domains, my link building effort has been very, very minimal on this site. And it now looks like Google is very much seeing this site with only about 60 or 70 posts in total, but it's very much seeing it as an authority in the niche. And it's definitely treating it that way. New content tends to go straight onto page one. Uh, and if not, it's page two. And then it, it tends to move up very quickly after that. Um, so, you know, it is, a, it is a niche that is trending and it is on an upward uh, trajectory in terms of interest. I don't see that reversing anytime soon. I don't really see it being hit by global recession or anything like that. Um, although it's not a necessity, it is it is something that is quite high on, on people's agendas right now. So I think all of those factors combined have allowed us to see the growth that we've seen. Now, if you want to know more about what I do on a week by week basis with this site and with my other sites, make sure you signed up to my email newsletter because I'm putting a lot of focus into uh, revamping that and improving it and really going into details that I can't always go into in these types of videos. So if you do want to sign up for that and you're not currently signed up, then uh, check out the link in the description below. So as you can see, the site is still progressing month on month, which is really, really pleasing to see. And like I mentioned before, I'm going to be looking to make a six figure exit on this site sometime next year, probably around April to June time. And I'll likely be looking to sell with the likes of Empire Flippers or FE International. And I would say, with a, a modest 40X multiple, we'd probably be looking somewhere in the region of 250 to $400,000. So if you're not a subscriber to the channel and you wanna make sure that you don't miss out on what that exit looks like, be sure to hit the subscribe and the notifications so that you don't miss anything. Talking of missing stuff, if you haven't seen this video that documents my recent trip to Bangkok to Affiliate World Asia, then check it out because I reveal some top secrets that all the top affiliates are doing right now to be successful in 2022 and 2023. Guys, thanks for watching and good luck with your project.